Go! Oh, sorry. All right. What are we yeah. doing? No, we're doing uh, uh, an insect move, actually. Mm. Yeah. Is a worm inchworm? considered an insect? Is it? I don't think so. It's not? No. What does it fall under? I okay, know. science guy. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not an insect. <laughs> that. What is it? What is it? Uh, <laughs> let's move on. Uh, yeah, come we'll on, Kermit. You later. can't come yeah. in and say that and then not have <laughs> yeah. the answer. He's coming in with facts without facts. Insects have All right, I, I see how thing. it goes. I see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, insect or not. This is uh, the inchworm. So here we go. The inchworm. The inchworm. So what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and actually start. The be best way to do this probably start in the quadruped position. Okay. So hands and knees. So hands and knees, we extend, we get into the extended plank position. And now I'm gonna actually walk my feet towards my hands. Keeping so goal, your legs straight. Keep, I was just gonna say, that's the goal, right? Yeah, the goal is to try and keep your legs as straight as possible. So I wanna get a nice pike here where I'm feeling this all the way from my hamstrings and then extending my knees into it so I'm applying tension, uh, getting the calves and ankles and everything involved. Now I'm gonna walk my way back out. Okay, to an extended plank. And then I'm gonna repeat the process. Arguably one of the most basic <sighs> things that we, a lot of us learned as kids. Just bend over and touch it, the floor. It is, it's a, it's, a, it's a very basic, but throwing the mo mobility in actually where you're moving with it, I think well, is. When you're moving with it, you're actually gaining control and strength in that position. You're not just getting range of motion. People need to realize that range of motion without strength within that range of motion is actually causes problems mm. with mobility. And that's the real benefit of doing something like that versus just... What do you mean just also applying that pressure onto your shoulders and walking with it? Uh, people will get a lot of benefit from that as well. So, I mean, there's lots of variations, but this is basically the fundamental version of the, uh, the inchworm. So you can add in like upward facing dog, you can add in uh, you know, a, a kind of an in-step lunge uh, to, to, you can get creative with it. So it's, it's a great one to, to add into the mix. Definitely sure. a great move for MAPS green, MAPS performance, throw it on those mobility days. Absolutely.